said it never Told her to say never A spirit left out to the broken My heart never heals It's the fears It's the reason why I'm how sick is this? So this is what I'm going to try out today. The Insta360 Go 2 inside the Googles. Shout out to Jeff Walker on his Instagram. He already did this and I just copied his ID because I had this one laying around and I figured, ah, that's an idea I didn't thought of. So really cool to actually put that inside the Googles, get the real rider's eye perspective. And actually when I put this thing on, it doesn't bother me too much. I can just see perfectly well. If you test it yourself by putting a thumb right here, like your vision just clears it out. So isn't that much of a problem. And maybe it looks dope. Maybe it's totally awful. Who knows? That's the Insta360 GO 2. And then also for my Hero 11 Mini, I got this new accessory, the Max Lens Mod 2.0. So going to test that one out also. It's supposed to make the field of view really wide. So it's a cool view to check out. So that's the plan for today's video. Let's just uh, eat my breakfast right here. And then we are heading to the track at 11 a.m. Quite a chill morning here. By the way, guys, if you do like my content, make sure to subscribe, like, and uh, leave a comment down below. It always helps my channel out and makes me able to do these videos more often and also it's more fun and more engaging so make sure to like comment subscribe i guess looks like it's going to be a nice day hey good morning Let's go riding. Yeah. It's a bit Full grip.
the Insta360 look was something I didn't really enjoy but uh, once I got on the GoPro as you can see I really like how it's looking and uh, the max lens mode make it really wide so it's a nice view. Today's uh, training was really fun, uh, the track was really grippy and we changed it up, that's the cool thing about this track, we can ride in both directions and also we can cut off different sections to make the track a little bit different. It's uh, five minutes from where I'm living, so also it's really close to the workshop and everything. So that's always cool to have a track so close that we can ride whenever we want. Usually it's really hard pack, but after quite a lot of rain, then uh, it got really grippy and also soft in some places. So we had some nice ruts and uh, I really enjoyed the, this day of riding. We did a couple of uh, six lappers and then a couple of five lappers where we were really pushing hard and uh, yeah, hanging it out on the 450 and uh, getting comfortable with pushing on the 450 and uh, I really enjoyed today. I hope you also enjoyed the onboard footage. Then in the end here we tried a little bit this turn to go different lines and trying things out and yeah, I just had a solid day of riding and I really enjoyed it so that's always good. It's quite similar, I think. <laughs> but this I don't like at all because I turned too late. Yeah. Then I turn and I, the bike wants to go everywhere. Ah, yes, here, yes. Inside. And you don't jump uh, higher. And just bam. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. Easy. <laughs> I think it's one second quicker. This? Yes. Yeah, you don't jump. Yeah, maybe more yeah. because because you can you throttle when you land. Uh -huh. When you land there, yeah. you need to wait, 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 wait. It's great. Yes. Bam. Okay, action, action. <laughs> <laughs> now we can do uh, everything for the vlog, you know? <laughs> need to put more gas away. <laughs> I go on the psychiatry. <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't know how many times during the season. I think this. Phew. Now I stop motocross after one shit time practice or something. <laughs> me also. This is not for me. I don't like this feeling. <laughs> now I stop. I change everything. <laughs> the, my parents, my house, my girlfriend, the cat. The trainer, the <laughs> the so we're back with another gym video. Uh, you liked uh, the one I did the last time, so I figured I would do another one after riding today. Uh, riding went good and then uh, had some dinner and uh, relaxed for a bit and then went to the gym around 7, 8 o'clock. That's when the gym is empty and uh, it was a uh, leg day on the schedule today so that was my plan and i was uh, thinking to take it through it so this is my motocross focused leg day in the gym and yeah as you have already seen i started off with squats after a proper warm-up of five to ten minutes and then uh, i jumped into squats with lighter weights just for warm-up what was cool about bringing the camera into the gym was actually between sets i could uh, stop I could uh, take my camera and I could look to what I was doing, like how I was doing the technique and stuff like that. And uh, as you know, on squats, the technique are quite important. I'm trying to get as low as possible, but my ankle have a little bit of a problem. So I cannot get 
so deep as I really would like. But yeah, the first two sets I did with 100 kilo, four repetitions of uh, two sets. And then I went on to 110 kilo for uh, two reps at the first set. And then later on, I tried the 110 kilo right here, but I failed after one rep. Going down for the second rep, I went too far down and I just couldn't recover and get back up. And uh, that was probably one of the heavier squats I ever did at that full depth. So I was happy with that after a day of riding. Then I went on to the exercise I can't even pronounce, the searcher squat or something. You have uh, the barbell in your armpits and uh, go to the squat position. I find this exercise extremely good because it engages the core even more and you have a little bit less weight. So I like to do them after the squat to challenge the core even a little bit extra and burn off the last repetitions in those legs just uh, for a finisher. It's uh, not an uh, exercise that easy to max out. I uh, just went with uh, 80 kilo, the same as I did last time, 80 kilo. And I did that for five repetitions with uh, three sets. You can see that uh, I'm standing a little bit wider and uh, going a little bit less deep on these ones because I want to have more speed, be more explosive and really try to push the barbell out from me, not keep it close to me. I try to push it out so I engage the core even more. But I really like this exercise and it's a cool one and uh, especially good for motocross, I believe. Then we went over to some deadlifts. I'm feeling pretty good in this uh, exercise and I think uh, my technique is not so bad. Obviously it can always be better, but I feel like I'm doing it pretty good here. I just lost a little bit of balance uh, trying to really engage the glutes when I'm in the top of the rep. Here I was with the 130 kilo and I felt uh, that it was moving pretty easily. I had a good uh, and strong day so it was was nice moving the, the bar with 130 kilo that easily. So my plan was actually for the last set to up the weight to 140 kilos. But when I actually look back to the footage here, I was wondering why the bar and the weight felt so heavy, but as I can see now, it is actually a 10 kilo plate there on the end, so it's actually 150 kilo. I put on a belt for this one because 140 kilo should be quite heavy for me, but yeah, it's 150 kilos, so even better that I had a belt on and I did that for two repetitions. So. That's actually the highest weight I ever did was 150 kilo and now I just did two reps of it. So I don't know what happened, but it was a good session. Then uh, I went over to some hip thrusters. Maybe I exercised that uh, many forget about, but actually the ass is the biggest muscle. So for me, it's uh, pretty important to do this. I like to go down and then try to move the weight quickly to the top of the rep and then hold it for a bit. That just uh, gives me a good feeling when I do it like that. So I'm trying to work on speed here. It's uh, always good to implement a little bit speed also on the strength sessions. So also it's a good exercise to finish up the leg session with uh, a little bit of a different movement than just pressing movements and uh, lifting the bar with ass. So uh, I like this one, it's burning in my ass and uh, it's always good to have a big ass for the girls. They uh, really notice that. So always try to focus on uh, other things than only motocross also. Lastly, I did some uh, calf presses to uh, also work on that. So when I'm standing on the pegs with the toes, my uh, calves are good and strong. I supersetted that with bench press. Yes, you heard right, bench press on the leg day. I will explain that a little bit later. But uh, I like to include the compound movement of uh, bench press also on my leg day. I do realize that I actually forgot to add the sets and reps and kilos for the hip thrust and the standing calf raises. But uh, for the bench press here, I did the first 60 kilo, eight repetitions. I'm holding that narrow because if I hold uh, wider, my uh, shoulder starts to hurt. So I actually 
that's why I have a little bit of a strange style here holding quite narrow but uh, I just need to do what I have to do now we move on to set 2 which I did uh, 75 kilo I did that for uh, 3 repetitions and it's a struggle bus it's uh, close to my maximum weight actually I never did more weight than that I never did it because uh, I don't have a spotter and this bench is uh, quite sketchy for a max without uh, safety so there we go, back home from uh, the gym, what a lovely day, first up riding in the morning, some good riding, felt good all day, track was prime, and uh, yeah, tested the uh, different GoPro th things, enjoyed riding, had some fun, then came back here, oh, I actually went to the workshop, cycled for... 30 minutes like recovery cycling. I don't know how this is. Protein. I think the Norwegian Olympic Center, they recommend 20 gram of protein with every meal. I thought I had some granula, but it doesn't seem like I have that. Because I don't have more granula, I guess I will do some oats. It's actually also protein in the oats, so maybe one is enough, one is enough. Always good to fill up the energy storages with uh, some sugar, sugar in the form of oats and protein before sleep. And the thing is, when I eat oats, some people do it with milk, but I can't stand that because like it gets really like glue, so I need to use water. So let's put the microwave on, make this thing. So on the three days of strength I'll do, I uh, try to include like compound, the three main compound exercises for me, which is squats, deadlifts and uh, bench press. On the three days, at least two of the days. So bench press I'll do on leg day, which is a little bit strange, and on upper body day. Then I'll do deadlifts on leg day today and also on upper body day I do deadlifts squats I do on leg day and explosive day so then all the three compound movements I get at least two times during the week oats is done it was very hot I'll add some milk to cool it down because it's really hot and I don't like hot milk with oats, but cold milk I like, so I usually add a little bit of that into the oats just to cool it down. So anyway, that's my strength program that I tried to run now, have been doing. Obviously, now when the season is approaching, strength is getting less and less prioritized and focus forward is just yeah maintaining and... Uh, yeah, I've been gaining a lot of strength the last few weeks and I just want to maintain this. I think uh, it's very beneficial to be strong on the bike. So that's why I have one leg day with pure strength, one upper body day with pure strength. And then I like to also include the explosive day to just keep the body explosive because I don't want to get slow or anything. I want to make sure to be f quick in the movements. But yeah, I don't think that be a problem since I'm riding the bike all the time anyway but uh, yeah I'm really enjoying the strength and uh, seeing progress is always fun like uh, I haven't done strength training properly ever I think maybe only one month in the winter a little bit like here and there but nothing like trying to actually follow a proper strength program for a longer period then uh, obviously it's like core and stuff, but that will do with the team and also on the days I don't have strength training, maybe I take a 15 minute core training session here, like really quick one. Uh, it's not part of the strength training program, but just to, to train the core whenever. And also like today on leg day, I like to incorporate the Celsius squat just for core stability, like it's a super exercise. and. I'm just feeling good when I'm feeling strong, so yeah, I'm just going to enjoy my oats now, hope in the shower, get some good sleep, and uh, that's it for today, hope you will have 
enjoyed this video and uh, until next time full gas so see you guys